and welcome to this Bybot Pro video. So in today's video, I want to talk you through how to read a Bybot Pro chart. So whenever you analyze a deal within Bybot Pro, you'll find the charts load at the bottom of the page. So let's go through exactly how you're gonna read one of these charts and what it means for you as a seller. So first of all, the top chart that you'll see on Bybot Pro. So that one contains a breakdown of lots of different information. And you can see that information over here on the right hand side in the key. So it shows you the FBA price. It shows you when Amazon are selling the product. It shows you the new price, which is the MF price basically. It shows you the best seller rank and it shows you the buy box price. So what we're looking for, and obviously you can toggle all of these on and off so it shows or not shows in the graph. So. Well, the first thing I want to go through is the FBA price, and that is the brown coloured line as we go through the chart. So if we turn off everything else, you can see which one I'm talking about. So it's this one here. OK, so let's turn this back on because it's easier to read it when it's all together. So this is showing you the FBA price. And as you can see, if you toggle, if you go along the line, the little pop out will show you all the different information all the time for every single day and time during the day. So you can get really detailed information about what's going on with that price. So that brown one is the FBA price. Okay, so the orange blocks are where Amazon are in stock. So we've made those blocks, so it's super easy to, to recognize it and you know, know exactly what it is. So that's when Amazon are in stock. The new price is without postage and packaging and MF prices. So this blue one, if you're doing FBA, it's handy to know, but do bear in mind you're comparing apples and pears. So it's not exactly relevant if you're an FBA seller. It's good to know, absolutely. You need to be in receipt of all your information, but it's not as important to you as the FBA price if you are doing FBA. Then the BSR is the sales rank. So the sales rank is important so that you know exactly what's happening and how quickly that product is selling. So let's turn off a couple of these other ones for a minute and have a look at just the sales rank. So there is the sales rank. So the lower the sales rank, the better, and the more ups and downs, the better. If you've got a product that just starts from down here, the green line, and just goes up and up and up and up and up, that means it's never selling. So you don't wanna be buying that product. So more activity on the green line is a good thing until you get to super low on the BSR chart. And then sometimes it's selling so fast, it doesn't have time to go up and down. So every one of these drops is at least one sale. It's not necessarily only one sale, but it is at least one sale. So you get a really good idea and you can see that that product is selling really, really fast. You know, even at the top point here, I mean, we're looking at 90 days and you can click along these and look at different timescales. But even on 90 days, you know, the very top, the BSR is maybe 83,000-ish, something like that. So, which is still a, a fairly low BSR if you imagine that, you know, the, a, a category might have a million products in it. Number one is the fastest selling product. Number one million is the slowest selling product. So something but 83,000 is selling really fast. You know, it's, it's selling really, really fast. And when you come down here and it's only like five or six thousand, it's super fast. And here it's selling so fast, it goes down to like a thousand BSR. So if there, if there was a million products, it's only number one thousand. So it's selling really, really fast. But a good way when you're reading the BuyBot Pro charts as well is to look at the sales heat map. So this is very much like a temperature heat map. If you imagine when it gets really hot, things get really red and when things go colder things go white so that's what you're basically looking for on this sales heat map because that's showing you the intense areas of sales so where it's red it's selling really really fast where it's orange it's still selling fast and then it color grades all the way through to, to white where it's selling you know it's still selling occasionally but it's not selling anywhere near as fast so you can see straight away without even having to worry about the lines by looking at the sales heat map and if you want to, you can click this little toggle here that will overlay the sales heat map over the chart. So you can see exactly where those intense sales are. 
And you'll see that it matches up perfectly with where it's at the lowest BSR. So that's a quick way of looking at how good the sales are. The redder the heat map, the better the sales, basically. Okay, so we can look, turn these back on so you can get a full look at the, at the graph. And let's have a look at these little orange, these little pink diamonds. These pink diamonds, what they're telling you is the buy box price. And there you can see that the buy box price was £21.99. Obviously, if you're in the US, this would be in dollars, but this is just a UK page. And you'll see that happened at 4.52 in the morning. So these brackets, the, the brackets after the buy box price is giving you the time that that buy box. So it's telling you that at 4.52 a.m. the buy box was £21.99. And you can go through all of these and looking at the different buy box prices and seeing what's going on. And that's a great way as well to be able to see what's happening and who's got the buy box. Because you can see that like the, the FBA price there is £17.64. So at that particular time, it wasn't held by an FBA seller because there is no FBA seller at that price. So it can give you a really good instant way of having a look at who's got the buy box and what's going on. So you can see there, like even there, you can see that a buy box price is $21.99. FBA sellers at £18. I think that's exactly £18. So it may well be that they're using Profit Protector Pro because Profit Protector Pro is great at boosting what you get your sales in terms of what the buy box is and it gets you sales over the top of the buy box but there you can see that the a sale happened over the top of the buy box and the buy box was over the top of the fba seller so a seller not the cheapest got the buy box and you can go through and do all that analysis as you go through so you can see there that the fba price was 15.95 the buy box was at 15.99 so an fba seller probably had the buy box and that was at 10 40 in the morning so you can have a look at all of these and you can see exactly what's going on with that buy box, what's happening, what's going on. So that gives you lots of information, but you can toggle these on and off, as I've said, to make it easier. And down the right hand side of the chart, you've got the BSR number, as we've talked about already. You know, that's the one to a million or whatever, however many products there are in that category. You've got your time date across the bottom and then you've got your price up the left hand side. And you can change these based on whatever period you want to have a look at. So you can have a look at seven days, 30 days, 90 days, 180 days. And you'll see that these charts all change as well. So it all matches and changes to keep you updated exactly what is happening over that time period. So if you look at all time, it's 342 days. You can see exactly what's gone on with that product. You can see here that the FBA price was really quite high in comparison to the Amazon price. And you can see where the intense period of sales are, where the low, you've got the low green charts. And you obviously you can look on the sales heat map as well. And you can see straight away there where the intense sales are. And then you can have a look if you want to toggle that on. So what the price was, the buy box price. So, you know, when the buy box price is £13.49, you've got intense sales. You know, when the buy box price is over here at £21.95, you can see that the sales are a lot less intense. So it all kind of makes sense in terms of what you do as a, as a buyer. You know, you're looking for a price of a product. If it's £13, it's more popular than when it's £21, which is, you know, obviously just a natural thing to happen. So this new one in the middle here, new offer count, what that is, is that's a number of sellers on the listing. So it will tell you exactly how many people are on the listing, how many sellers. You've got on the 31st of December 2019, there were 14 sellers. And at that point there, on the, 6th, on the 8th of August 2020, there were 86 sellers. So there's, it'll tell you all the way along how many sellers you've got. And that's great for something like um, where, where you, one, you can see what the competition's like and how many sellers there are. But also, if you suddenly see a massive drop in the number of sellers, that can be a warning sign to you for like maybe they've created IP issues or something like that on people's accounts and they've removed all the sellers. So it's a great way to check what's going on. You know, that's a, that, that shows that there's a lot of sellers. It's a fast moving product, as you can see from the BSR and the green chart. So it's a fast moving product, popular one with lots of sellers on it as well. So that gives you lots of information about what is going on and how to read one of these charts. And if we come on down, there's more charts to BuyBot Pro as well. 
So you can have a quick look through these and it will tell you, and you can toggle all of these on and off whether you want to see them or not on your Amazon page. So you can really make it personalized to you. So you can have a very quick look through and look at the average price, which is really handy to see what's the average price of this product. Because when you're sourcing products, what you don't want to buy is something that right now looks like a great deal because the, the price is high, but actually the average of the product is 10 pounds or $10 lower than what you think it is, and there's all your profit gone. So it's always a good idea to have a check of the average prices. So you've got your Amazon average price, your FBA average price, and what you're looking for here, obviously, the more stable, the better. That's what you're looking for, something that's fairly stable in its price, because then you can be more sure of your deal. You've got your new price averages, your buy box price averages, your BSR average and your new offer count. Now, obviously, that one doesn't matter in terms of being consistent because, you know, that's just the competition. But it's still nice to know that there's consistent sellers on the, the listing. So that can give you some comfort in terms of like IP things and things like that as well. And then you've got obviously you need to do your own due diligence and do that really, really carefully. But always make sure you check the IP radar within BuyBot Pro. And it'll give you the BSR average as well. Now, this table here is basically giving you exactly the same information as these charts do. But some people like to look at it in chart format and some people like to look at it in table format. So you can choose which suits you best and then you can just toggle off the other one. So you can look at it and see which way it suits you best to have a look at that, that data. And then down the bottom, you've got the difference in terms of seller stock and the price. So you can see the, the seller position um, and... So seller number one, that's the person that's, that's top, that's got the buy box, usually, right, Amazon. They're saying they've only got one in stock at the moment and they're $15.99. Seller two has got 15 in stock and they're $18.73. And then you can go through and have a look at that. So this one's giving you basically the same information that you get in the competition analysis here. But once again, it's laid out in a different format because we all, we all like information delivered to us differently some of us are visual people and some of us like to see more data so work out what works best for you and then personalize by Bot pro by clicking on and off the little toggles so reading a by Bot pro chart is really really a good a good idea to learn how to do this so please have a read you know have a watch through this this video a couple of times so you really understand how to read a chart and how to know all the information that it's given you and don't forget to not to just look at you know the latest, have a look at what's going on consistently over a period of time. Because that will help you analyze your deal best. You know, you don't want to be buying something, as I said, that's just inflated deal that's only a high price for now. You want to be making sure you're aware of what is going on all the way through the, the time so you know exactly what, what's going on with that deal and that product, and you can make a, a proper decision about whether that's a good product to sell or not. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, please, and subscribe and click the little ding dong bell and I'll see you next time.